Now you look yeah. at Peyton. Okay, Peyton was the guy that got here this summer. Hadn't really had many live reps with this team, you know, and only mm-hmm. been here for a short amount of time. So he's really only had a week to try to get to know these guys in a live practice. So yeah. he's probably going to be a behind a little bit, even while he's trying to progress forward as fast as he can. There's still a lot of catching up to do with for us, like finding rhythm with your teammates, finding chemistry with your guys and and also dissecting this playbook. You know, yeah. you can't just learn it that fast. So I think for him, it's kind of like, do you narrow certain things down for him? to he can get comfortable and then you start to add to it as he goes and then with Robbie how much do you throw at him you know I think Robbie is the x factor in this whole deal because he's the most athletic of all the three definitely and you know I think he can still help this football team in some ways whether he's a starter or not he still can have a big impact on the team I think the pressure now falls really you know how much can Peyton get comfortable yeah. And how much consistency, you know, everyone watches the scrimmage. Right. And but we're not in those practices every day to see, like, who's being consistent. Mm-hmm. That's what that's how coaches actually make their decision. You right. know, Some guys can look great one day off the next day, or put together two days off the third day who consistently at the end of the day, when coach make his decision, they're going to go through all the practices and all the scrimmages and they're going to say, who consistently looks apart? Mm 